Today, I'm here to show you how to outmicro and outplay your opponents in teamfight tactics using the most honorable and popular item in the game, Zephyr. I'll show you methods on how to use Zephyr at a basic beginner level, all the way to how rank one players use it for LP. A few reasons why I think Zephyr is one of the most underrated items in the game. One, it has amazing stats with a high average placement and win rate. Two, Zephyr can't miss. You're always guaranteed some minimum value. Three, it uses all those extra defensive components. Four, and perhaps the most important, Zephyr deals critical mental damage to opponents, making them more likely to tilt and make worse decisions as the game goes on. Ah, right. The beginner level usage of Zephyr is simply to place it on a unit and leave it in the same spot while you do other activities. Even just the threat of Zephyr can sometimes scare your opponents to make wrong decisions. The most common spots that you should leave Zephyr and AFK if you're not going to move it is A4, front center, or D1 and D7, aka the corner hexes. This is because people usually leave their most valuable tank in the front center, and often they leave their carries in the corner to avoid AoE. If you have a lot of things going on, like you are rolling down, transitioning, or just cashing out your underground, it's okay to leave Zephyr in a spot while you handle all other actions. The second layer of using Zephyr at an intermediate level involves scouting your opponent. After you scout them, reposition the unit to try and snipe your opponent's most valuable units. If you have multiple opponents and are not sure which to prioritize Zephyring, try to find the hex that hits the most opponents. Generally, this is the front line because backline carries are often swapping around and it's difficult to predict. Assume that your opponent is not paying attention. Don't worry about whether or not they see you scouting. Only start changing up your Zephyr snipes if they prove that they are capable of doing advanced positioning tactics. For example, if you know your opponent is rolling down, you can place a Zephyr on a hex and know that they are unlikely to move it because they are busy. It's a good idea to mix up when you're Zephyring frontline and backline, even if it's a unit that doesn't belong in that spot. For example, if you have a unit that is generally a backliner and you're Zephyring a frontline target, that is still okay because it'll be worth disabling that unit. The expert level is scouting all your opponents. If you scout all your opponents every round, it'll put all of them on edge. When scouting, observe your opponent's patterns at a deeper level. Everyone has a pattern. Some people generically mirror their boards from left to right. Some only swap a couple times per stage. Some people are hyper fixated and randomize their back line so it's hard to snipe them, but they leave their front line exposed. Make mental notes on what these patterns are so that way you can get maximum Zephyr usage. For example, we can see Mismatch Socks landing Zephyr twice in a row because he anticipates the swaps and he's been observing his opponent's patterns. After combat starts, click on the opponents you could have queued into and look at where they left the units that you want to Zephyr. You can also use time during carousel and PvE to scout your opponents. For example, Ramblin scouts during the carousel on his opponent's Yasuo, and when he queues into it next, knows exactly where to snipe without even scouting. Remember to target both frontline and backline units. The more investment onto a unit in the frontline especially, the more devastating the Zephyr. If you want to use Zephyr at a pro challenger level, always try to put Zephyr on units you do not mind selling. If you have these filler units, you can preemptively position them where you think you can Zephyr your opponents. For example, if you use one star threats, they are non-committal and you can just simply replace them with another threat that you find. Do not put your valuable two star units in spots where you might need to Zephyr. Selling the two-star units is way harder to find later on. You can react to your opponent's board and cheese the Zephyr each round. Wait for your opponent's board to load in and then cheese the Zephyr based on the ideal spot. We call this action juggling Zephyrs. When juggling Zephyrs, you can sell the units, use an item remover, or use item pop-offs such as putting Thief's Gloves on a unit on the board and then making it as a two-star. So now that you're using Zephyr at a pro level, here's how the rank one players push it to the next level. Zephyrs can be used to manipulate pathing and positioning. If you have a melee bruiser carry, for example, you could use Zephyr as a way to potentially ignore one of the few frontliners and get straight backline access as if it were an assassin. Be careful, the opposite is also true. Make sure to avoid Zephyring the only place your melee carry can walk. Otherwise, your carry will be more lost than your favorite streamer during a massive rolldown. I'm fucking lost. The best way to improve your Zephyr micro is to use hotkeys. This is mainly for PC only. The most important hotkey to remember is the spacebar. When using spacebar, you'll return to your board and can immediately react to how your opponents are positioning. Notice how Solgasong clicks on the unit holding Zephyr, hangs around his opponent's boards, and at the very last second, swaps back to his board for the ideal Zephyr. At the very top level, players are constantly trying to juke the Zephyr. For example, Solgasong misses the Zephyr on his first try because his opponents swap between two hexes at the last second. But the second time around, Solgasong remembers what happened previously that his opponent would swap 
and therefore lands the ideal Zephyr. If you want to rebind it, the hotkey is called Center Camera on Tactician. Hotkeys are really important if you want to maximize your Zephyr usage. If you want to scout players quickly, you can simply use the default 1, 3, or QR. My specific hotkeys bind first to eighth through QWER, ASDF. This is because I want to individually scout any of my opponents and be able to go through it quickly and cycle through. It does take some muscle memory rework for your fingers, but once you get used to it, I promise it's worth it. Want some extra cheese to that perfect topping on your rat tactics? Here's a couple extra tips. Zephyr is a crazy combo item with any kind of corner hook. When people know that hooks are in the game, they will often position their carry in their D2 or D6 to avoid the corner hook. However, if you place a Zephyr in your corner on D1 and D7, the hook will guarantee to land on that carry. Be aware that this may get some heated words in exchange or potentially even banned from your favorite streamer's chat. He's trying to hook and Zephyr. That's a ban. Sometimes not using your Zephyr can also be correct. If you know you're going to win the fight any ways you can leave that Zephyr on the bench for a more important future fight. Last but not least, establish mental dominance. Ping your opponents, emote them, and always type GG at the end. But you'll know that it wasn't GG, it was easy. And with the first pick on this carousel, what item did you select? Uh, I think I ended up taking a Zephyr. Motion to dismiss on the grounds of being cringe. Motion approved. You disgust me. So those are all my tips on how to play Zephyr from new beginner level all the way up to rank one. Hope this helped. Let me know what you guys think in the comments, and I'll see you guys next time for more rat tactics. Rats, rats, we are the rats. So I've been another one of birthday bats. Michael, it's your birthday today. Take it out, you're on the way. And 